Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 247, first day of December 2022. It's been a fun couple of weeks. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you do that kind of thing. Otherwise, I don't know, hope you had a good couple of weeks. I feel like we've had a good couple of weeks. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. As always, this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here right now. Let's go talk about what we're going to talk about today. We're going to do triage. Uh, triage has a very particular spin on it because we released preview one two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I've lost track now. Um, a bit ago, and we've got some bugs, and so we're going to talk about some of those, and then we will talk about the Wix v4 release plan because that's what we're doing. We are releasing Wix v4. That's our focus, uh, so that shouldn't be any surprising. And then uh, we'll do anything else that people want to bring up. Questions, comments, other things to talk about. So let's go jump into triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. Yeah, triage. Woohoo. All right. So I want to point out one real quick thing. Triage is uh, a lot lower than it would be. We've had a lot of bugs come in that were clearly Wix 4, that were people using Wix 4 Preview 1, and they were clearly bugs. So it just went, all right, cool. Take it, fix it, take it, fix it, take it, fix it. We'll look at a... Uh, smattering those in a minute. These are the triage issues that were not closed in that that were not clearly bugs or maybe just left open as triage. So starting at the top, uh, let's look at 6998. Wix identifier, wait, validate path, yada, yada, yada. Um, Bob? Yeah, think... so this is one of the, the uglier bits. Oh, of Ten minutes ago, I didn't refresh. <laughs> yeah, I, I just yeah, I went through the stuff that was closed, um, that mostly were closed by the peop by the person who submitted. Um, but yeah, the the issue here is is the platform specific custom actions that we're using in all the extensions now. Wix UI has two of them, um, one to validate the path if one is entered and the the obviously vital one of being able to print a eula uh, um still. i would i would so enjoy getting rid of that custom action because who the hell is printing out eulas but whatever um because they're platform specific and they're inside an extension library the ids have to be unique um I picked an approach for uh, back in preview zero that worked and had some flaws and uh, in, I don't know, some kind of maybe turkey driven brain something. Um, I came up with another approach that I think is a lot more uh, reliable. And actually, I think I did this before Thanksgiving. so. I just was looking for a reason that my brain didn't come up with the better solution the first time. Um, so, but this bug is an example of one of the downsides of of the old approach. Um, the new approach will not magically solve any problems, uh, but it's a lot more straightforward to explain. Um, in the previous model, you essentially had to hard code a platform inside your Wix authoring, and I decided that was unacceptable. So the new model does not require that. So goodness. So is this bug fixed? Uh, uh, no. Yes. This bug is obsolete. You cannot run into this exact scenario. OK. All right. Well, actually, you, you can. Is this something the converter needs to flag, or does it already? Maybe it already does. It does not. Um, um, yeah, okay. Why don't you reopen this, and it's already assigned to me, and put it in RC1, and I will take a look. I don't know what the converter can do. At most, it could, it could you know, throw up a warning, but that might be worthwhile. Um, okay. Oh, wait, I can do that to myself, can't I? Yeah, I was, <laughs> uh, me pushing buttons while trying to talk and move everything else around is, um, a bit of a challenge, but okay. Uh, well, yeah. But I was talking and. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I was about to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and you said you do it. I was like, all right, cool. 
Um, okay. Um, test hanging after VS 1714 on ARM. I think he just disabled this issue and then closed it or disabled the test. I don't really know. Like I was surprised this just went away. I don't know. Well, I my assumption was that it meant that he didn't believe it was a Wix problem, it was a BS problem, and therefore there's no reason to yeah, I guess I'll open read that issue if I have more information. Okay, fine. So um, that is fine. We'll, uh, I guess we'll expect to see something like that to come back. All right. 7039. Um, for each, which I really dislike, but whatever. Oh, you love it. I know. No, you love I don't. Um, oh, wait. Okay. Uh, all right. So it's not pulling off the quote. Um, did V3 pull the quote off? Should we pick fix this in four? I left this here only because I was like, I don't know. Should we fix this in four? Um, I opened it because it's inconsistent with the other um, processing instructions. Oh, we probably like fixed the, the other pre-processing instructions, and I'm sure I never even thought about going anywhere near for each. Yeah, V3 yeah, does, okay, like, fine. you can say define, e define foo equals quote something quote, even for a single word. Um, you know, it's required for something with white space in it. Um, okay. But you can use it for a single word. And like when I was doing the the before preprocessor doc, I, I'm like, okay, well, I've always hated the the optional quotes. So I'm like, okay, let's put them in. Um, <laughs> and then it didn't work. And I did the same thing for for each and published okay. it for preview one. Right. And then I actually tried to use it. <sighs> all right, give it to me. I will. You're right. It's inconsistent. I'll fix it with to match all the other preprocessor stuff. So. Yay. I I was kind of expecting I was going to get that one. Uh, 7057, Wix for custom bootstrapper command line, uh, always empty. I think Sean's comment is probably the answer that burn pre-processes a bunch of things to say here are how you should use these things. These are the command lines you should recognize. Um, and he wasn't expecting that. So do we give this another couple weeks and see if it goes away in that time, I guess? We'll leave it triage. Yeah, give, give him one him, shot. Give him, give him at least 24 hours to respond. I don't know. It depends on what time zone this person, he, whatever time zone this person is in. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So we'll come back to that one. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be no work on that one. All right, and then we have a feature request, 7058. Add another a core SDK search to go along with the net core itself search to find the SDKs. And it's on, so, I mean, basically find the SDKs the same way that you can find the core. And this guy has said that he's happy to go work on it and he's looking at it and hitting some issue that I don't understand. The big question is, do we want to take this? And I'm not saying that because I don't want to take it. I'm saying that because now that we're kind of going to RCs, I think we kind of have to look at everything, especially features, and go, yeah, we'll take it. Or no, now's not the time to take it. We'll put it in Wix 5. So I, I want to say, <laughs> I want to say our default should be no, we're not going to take new features. Preview one was supposed to be feature complete. Yeah. So I, right. This one is, this thing came in right at preview one at late. So I'm kind of on the fence because, well, you know, you didn't see how it was going to be done necessarily. So now would be the time that it would have to happen. I mean, now you see like, oh, I see what they did. Oh, you just need to add this thing. It's missing. I, I could kind of see that argument. Well, uh, I, I, this doesn't feel like a... Uh, it feels like an interesting feature. Uh, it doesn't feel important enough to me that it would, you know, disrupt the the stake in the ground of preview one as feature complete. Uh, but then again, I'm also, you know, perhaps not imagining uh, the need for an SDK. You know, the 
the runtime you know fits the model we've had for for uh, the .NET framework Redist. Um, we've ne- you know Wix three never had any support for detecting .NET framework SDKs, uh, but then again, you rarely needed one. Whereas with you know .NET Core, .NET .NET five, .NET non framework. You need the SDK for more things like .NET Global Tools, so maybe it's just a lack of imagination on my part. Well, it should just be a copy paste of the other one. It's just going to call the same function. So it's it's really going to look very similar to the other one. Or at least it should. <laughs> Never know what we might get, but yeah. Yeah, that's kind of where I was like, it's basically a, is it copy and paste or I don't know, refactor and reuse? I don't know, however to do it. All right, let's see what it looks like. If it looks like the same thing as the other one, I'm like, yeah, let's take it just because it came in so late and someone's extending the same exact pattern for the SDKs. And... I can't come up with a reason why you want it, but I also can't think of, <laughs> but my imagination may not be enough <laughs> to come up with it. <laughs> so, so, all right. Uh, let's just respond and say, well, I, I don't know what this issue is. I don't know why spans are getting involved in any of this at this point, but these, this harvesting, the way that MS Bill harvesting is, is, Creates lots of problems, so I don't know. What I'm, he might I'm be confused hitting. about this one. I mean, how are these things related? I think if, this is him doing anything... a build and hitting the test. Yeah, I don't think it's related at all, because this is actually I'm before just... you get to the extensions. Right. So, uh, sorry, I'm just. I think he's looking anything, for help on how to fix his build. That's my guess. This this is a potentially a bug in heat not the extension right what he has here is i can't build look here's all this information about what i can't build including from a windbag dump that's pretty cool yeah all right uh well we'll go talk to this guy a little bit more see where he ends up and we'll go from there that's all of the triage here all right, so I just want to kind of bring up a quick look at the issues um, that have been closed mostly in the RC1 timeframe. Um, just as a uh, preview one, I'm kind of blurring this in the next feature, but I want to kind of look through here. So we've already hit like 36 closed. A lot of the closed issues are around the website because we moved a lot of content in the website to make place for the Wix 4 officially, as well as moving to DocuSource that renders all of our documentation much easier than all the stuff we were using before. So all that was great, but there are a lot of issues in all the game. The page URL is correct, so that's fine. That was not unexpected. And it was great to basically blast through those and eventually work them all out as annoying as it was. But yay. Um, and then we've hit a couple issues like this, you know, I and I create file or create line it was a great catch. Um, and like the permission EX thing was another interesting thing. So it's been good. We've had some people clearly using preview one, finding some converter issues, getting into it um, and opening issues. And we've been plowing through them to fix them so that we could be, uh, on our way to RC1. So on that front, these have been a great set of bugs that we've seen come in. Really happy with that. And at this point, we have a few left for you know a little bit more time to go. Is this right? Did I refresh? There's gotta be another one here. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we have some still some work to do. Ah, oh, like yeah, there's a for each one uh, that just got open. So things are looking uh, pretty good right now. And we are continuing on our way through. So that's that. On that note, let me switch back to release plan. I was just saying preview one, I feel went actually really well. It, I, 
we were not inundated with uh, like this does not work at all. Uh, the issues that were found were all like, yep, that was things that we'd miss. Uh, and a lot of it was getting the web pages all wired up and made better. So in general, I feel really happy with the way preview one has gone. Uh, I, I don't think we're done. I think we got a few eager people, which was great. And now we need to go get more people, which hopefully will spread out more of the space. But by getting these people, they found some of the early things and the rest of should go better for uh, everyone else. So on that note, that means we're working to December 16th for RC1. So that's like two weeks from now, which feels pretty good for the kind of bugs that we have uh, and where we're going feels pretty good, you know, kind of things. I'm not saying that we necessarily have to have every single bug in the RC1 because it does include some uh, larger maybe documentation things to can do. Um, still some release stuff that I'm hoping I can do in RC1, but I may need another RC to really validate them. Anyway, so we're I feel like we're in a really good spot and have been in a good spot for the release of RC1 on December 16th. So that looks good. And I'm hoping, I don't know. I actually, I don't know how much I'm hoping. December 16th is in the dead zone of holidays. So I don't know how many people will pick up RC1, but at least not in December. And hopefully in January, when people come back, they'll be like, oh, there's Wix for um, RC1 out. That means that, hey, release candidate, they must be getting done. So probably be a message to be pushing the early January. At the same time, I'm expecting some people will pick up RC1, at least validate that we have fixed the things that we thought we fixed in preview one, more people will try it, and we will fix a number of bugs enough that I think we should follow the uh, what the .NET uh, core team did to release their RCs essentially every month after, once they start RCs, just kind of release every month. That feels like a decent idea, which means releasing the uh, RC2, like January 20th, plus or minus a week, we could talk about that. But I think the 20th is probably about right, given, you know, if we stick to Fridays, which is a little bit easier, kind of end of week, uh, give us a little bit of time. If things spill over, we can kind of pick up pieces stuff. So that's kind of the thinking for RC2. We'll push RC1 pretty hard like on January 3rd or 4th, kind of starting to get that message out there. I thought about going hard on the preview one message and decided that the data we were getting was okay. Uh, so we didn't need to go out and get more people knowing about uh, preview one, uh, but go in RC one and won't spend a lot of time, you know, the week of the 19th or the week of the 26th when a lot of people take off vacation, um, at least around the States. So basically come back after the new year like the third or fourth and hit the ground running of, hey, Wix4 RC1 is here, RC2 is right around the corner, jump on it, uh, kick the tires. As I have said, we will release Wix4 as early as possible. So as few RCs as possible. Could that mean February? Maybe. I That might be like RC3 could be, uh, you know, RTM. That would be cool. I, I don't know that that's going to happen, but certainly is the direction to be uh, trying to hit. And I'm not saying we'll like be an RC date, we'll be our TM date. We'll make that decision as we get closer. Right now, we just need to get more people picking up Wix and you know seeing if they find things um, in their general usages that they have hit. I know Blair's already left some comments that he's hit something that uh, like the conversion is uh, wrong. So. That's our attack plan. This hasn't changed uh, since our last meeting, so hopefully none of this is you know particularly surprising. Other than I think January twentieth is a a good line in the sand to draw right now for RC two, and the information that we glean from RC one, and the information we glean from RC two, I think, will definitely tell us will give us a much better plot for how far away is RTM. If we release RC one. People pick it up early January. We get a couple bug, a couple weeks of bug fixes, a couple weeks of bug reporting into RC2. We people, maybe a few more people pick up RC2. RC1 people pick up RC2. We see what kind of stuff is inbound. We probably have an RC3 in February. 
And hopefully at that point, we're starting to get a feel for, yeah, this is the general quality bar that we're at. And here's how much longer we have to go before, hey, you know what, we're done. Wix 4 is in the can and we move 100% our attention to uh, Wix 5. So feels nice to be in this mode. And uh, so far things on this release plan, uh, once we added the RCs after the previews have uh, felt, it's felt good. I've been, it's felt good with the number of uh, bugs, the kinds of bugs, the, the general feel we've been getting from it. So that's the plan. Questions, comments, things people want to talk about, other stuff going on that we should know about in World of Wix that we need to talk about. Oh, I covered the comment. Ah, I covered the comment thing. Let's see. Uh, does anyone ARM environment test on? Yeah, so Jacob, we just got uh, ARM hardware fire giant. And so haven't had a chance to spin it up yet. Cause honestly, I've been just fixing other Wix 4 bugs, but that's going to be a thing to do. Um, yeah, I want to see if I can run all of the Wix runtime tests in Windows Sandbox on ARM64. Yeah, yeah, so that's, yes, yeah, so we, we have that now, but that's that's pretty new. Um, it, we just bought it for everybody a week or two ago. I kind of lost track, a week ago. Um, so there's that. Uh, how do users discover new Wix releases? So we have not been pushing Wix releases yet. Uh, we will send out notices, although, I mean, we sent it to Wix, mailing list or oh, maybe did i oh man now i'm sitting here trying to remember wix preview did i send a mail wix preview one to wix users oh my goodness i don't know <laughs> huh huh anyway uh rc1 will be much more concerted effort definitely will be pushing to the mailing list definitely will have a thing on the website that says hey rc1 is here um and you know, all the other places that we can to get the information out that it will be there. Uh, we will, on all the Wix website places that you can go and look, that's where we'll be pushing it. But your question is a good point. And, and like I said, I kind of thought about given it been the holidays and given that people were picking up preview one, a lot of you, I think that are based, that are come and watch these uh, online meetings, that's great. Um, cause I mean, we get like a hundred people that end up watching these every week or so, which is a great amount of people kind of catching up. Cause I know not everybody can make this time zone. So I feel pretty good about what we got in preview one. I feel like we got to exercise a whole lot of the processes around this. And I feel like a lot of that behind the scenes back office stuff has worked out just fine. Um, and I feel like we're set up well. So we're going the holidays after the holidays here, we'll push, uh, we'll make a, a serious concerted effort to push RC1 and then RC2 and things like that and refine our messaging. So Ron, if you see things missing after the RC1 release where you're like, hey, you know, you should push into this channel um, or even before, go ahead and let me know and I will add it to my list of things to push um, information into so people can try to find it. A lot of it was we didn't want too many people on pre, we didn't want I don't know. Well, a lot of people on preview one. It was, it was a balancing act of how bad are we going to get hit? <laughs> like, how well does Wix 4 work? And before preview one, with not a lot of people on it, you know, it was like, uh, it should be fine. And in the end, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty good. So, uh, I've, I, like I said, I've been, uh, it's not pleasantly surprised. I've been pleased that things have worked out about uh, the way that you would hope they would. I, I, what is that? You're, I don't know, I don't know, whatever that. I need a word for that. Feels like there should be a word for that, maybe in German. Um, but yeah, it, it looks good. Things look good. The only issue I have is I wish we could have done this, you know, six months ago, and then this would have been the end of twenty twenty two that we were doing RCs. But it's not the way it is. All right. Anything else that people want to talk about? Uh, things about that. Things to talk about. So looking forward, plan is to have another meeting on the fifteenth. We'll do another round of triage, things we'll talk about. Maybe there'll be something that comes up in that meeting and says, no, 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 we have to stop RC1 for some reason. I don't know what that would be right now, but we will have that meeting to talk about it. Um, otherwise, I expect that meeting will be a typical, hey, yeah, let's talk about this, let's triage this. And if anything pops up that we're like, ah, oh, be nice to have it, but we're not going to slip in RC1, or maybe we do slip in RC1, we'll make that decision, it'll go into RC2. 
So we will make those kind of decisions right before that. Um, like Sean took an awesome fix just before preview one and everything worked out great. So I don't remember what that was, but it was something and everything worked out. So it's like, yay, we'll see the same thing with that Wix meeting on the 15th. That's two weeks from now, standard process. I don't have anything else. Do you guys have anything else to talk about? Um, am I missing anything? No. Yeah. If it isn't clear, the, the focus is on releasing Wix 4. I think. I got that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Um, okay. So we'll be back in two weeks to do essentially this all over again, but probably with less recap of the release process. Although maybe I'll just walk through it just so everybody's like very clear, drilled in their heads. What are we doing? The RC1 is released on the 16th. We will have a meeting on December 15th at this time, this place. And we will talk about uh, how it looks and what we have. And maybe we'll look a little bit ahead to RC2 uh, and what we're going to be doing and how much time people are going to be taking off over the, the break. All right. Until then, I think that's it. We are... Uh, yeah, that's it. We are back in two weeks and we'll do this again. All right. Until then, we're fixing bugs. You guys have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.